Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls. Luna and I are so happy to have you here. Um, we are here to do a spiritual update for Aries. How are you lovely Aries? I hope that you are doing great. I'm sending you lots of love and positive energy. Um, I want to thank you guys for your support and your patience. Um, I've just been recuperate, recuperating, recovery, healing, just doing some inner work and um, we'll talk about that soon. Uh, but I'm doing better, you guys. Um, I'm just thankful for each and every one of you guys for your prayers and your kindness and your sweet words. So let's see what we have here for the general energy for Aries. If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, also, I've added my email to the community or description box, I believe it's in there, and um, I think in the community I started doing some poems, so you guys can check those out. If you guys need anything, make sure you reach out. I'm here to help you guys. Okay, I feel you, Aries, that you're feeling a little bit lost, um, a little bit of confusion. I don't know if there's been some things in your life that have made you kind of shut down. Um, it's it's important, and I'm learning this too, to ask for help, to reach out to people when you're feeling like you need it. Um, and this is probably one of the biggest lessons I've learned so far is to reach out, help, assistance, vulnerability, and acceptance. Um, you could also be currently surrounded by heavy energy. You may be overcoming and doing too much for everyone else. Check your pride and if you're needing to be needed, if you're feeling like you have no time or too much to do, it may be time to delegate or set boundaries. So I don't wanna say like, I feel like people are taking advantage of you, but I feel like you give so much of yourself that there's not enough left for you. Ignoring the signs and messages, um, denying counsel or going off your spiritual Path right now so um, I just think there's a lot of energy around you um, that's kind of confusing you a little bit dreams there's quite a bit of blockages but we'll see escaping reality abandoning your dreams not listening to your intuition and we have here missing the li little things unwilling to go for it um, being distracted by new and shiny things. So again, I think there's just distractions around you and you are maybe like you're there for everybody else, but you have to be there for you. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do we have in the recent past for Aries? Aries, what do we have in the recent past for Aries? Recent past for Aries, maybe. Okay, you've made a decision. Um, okay, so there's, this is interesting. The same cards came out in the other reading. It must be a collective thing. So definitely healing. There's something here about repeated lessons or repeated patterns. Um, tell me more, Spirit, on this recent past. This could be you or could be the person that's on your mind. Um, trying to start a new beginning, but it wasn't, it never went forth because there was too much heartbreak. Like there was like an offer or somebody saying like, no, I really, really want to make this work. But because of the damage that was caused, like that new beginning was not able to move on to the next phase. Um, and I honestly see you worried about, not worried, but more interested in your finances and working on yourself um, in your recent past, it's like trying to put your, build your life back together. Like nobody's helping you. So you're going to do it yourself. Tell me more about this recent past for Aries, recent past for Aries. Make sure you take the messages that resonate and leave the ones that don't you guys. Um, yeah, this is in regards to like a home life that fell apart. Or I also feel like in the recent past or in this situation, there was like financial losses, but it's almost like you were, you would rather lose out on finances than to sacrifice your happiness. It's kind of what I'm hearing. Okay. 
and you decided to take a risk. You decided to, which is interesting because we have here not going for it, but I feel like this situation kind of pushed you to be uncomfortable so that you could move forward and do something different or take a risk. Um, it's interesting to watch Luna play. She doesn't really play, but she's showing off for you guys. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel like when you think about this situation, you don't have very good memories, Aries. Like, you took a leap of faith, but I feel like it got to a point that was so bad that you had to jump, you know? Um, and those memories, I feel like, are not good memories. I feel like um, there's also, like, I don't know if you felt, like, mentally trapped while you were in this situation. Could could have been because of a job, a person. And the reason you were feeling trapped is because there was someone that was manipulating you. And I feel like they were doing it with their words um, and emotions. Tell me more spirit. Two of lovers in reverse, yeah. I feel like it really got to a point where it was just a burden to be around this person, their energy. So there was a breakup separation. Um, someone was sad, could be you or your person, like saw this. I don't feel like you are sad because I feel like you ended up choosing yourself, but somebody sees you as a lost opportunity. Let's see, what else is the current energy for Aries? Current energy for Aries? Okay. Yep, you sacrifice, well, you, you might feel like you have to sacrifice something in order to take care of yourself, like for your own stability, your mental stability, your financial stability. Um, you had to let go of something that wasn't making you happy. And what it looks like to me right now, you look comfortable. Like you don't look like you're stressing. You look like you have a plan in place and I feel your energy very confident. Yeah, I feel like now you see that you have other options. You, you've turned your back on a situation and you're looking forward to an adventure or a journey. I don't know if you're gonna travel or you want to travel, um, but I feel like you at this point, you just want to live life a little bit more. Why not, right? Um, let's see, what's coming towards you in the near future? What's coming towards, okay. There might be someone, um, we'll clarify this, but I don't know if this is your past or your marriage or a twin flame that might come back, but you're not moving forward. There's a cancer energy here too that might be, yeah, you're not going to invest in it. You're not going to put your time in it. I don't even see you talking to this person anymore um, because you have a different, hey, what are you eating? Luna, sorry you guys. Luna, what are you watching now? <laughs> I'm sorry you guys. She needs a little bit of love because she doesn't get enough. She's an only child, so when I talk to you guys, um, she gets a little, a little jealous, I think. But we love you, Luna. We love you. Um, so what I see, you guys, in the near future is an offer but it's just it's hard because they can make you see them in a different way um you've already awakened you've already moving moving past this and i really don't see you talking to this person or the situation again tell me more spirit yeah there might be a mom or an older person supporting you um but you're just want to take care of your finances keeping like a good savings amount like planning for your trip, planning for yourself, planning for your life. And I feel like eventually you'll get to the place where you, you will be completely healed. And that's my wish for you guys. Let's see what messages we have from the universe. Look at the bigger picture, okay? Let's see what else we have from the universe for you guys. Prosperity lies ahead, you guys. Surrender to the divine. So trust the process, you guys. God loves you. There's something bigger, better. The best is yet to come. 
So it's up to you. It's up to you how you want the situation, if you believe. And one more spirit in the near future. So big changes are in the horizon for you guys. Um, let's do, if you believe here, um, the, it's up to you. The end result of the situation you asked about is entirely in your hands. You can affect the outcome by taking a proactive approach to solving any challenges. Stand in your own power and have confidence um, that you have what it takes to bring about a happy ending. Don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. In order to come to a successful conclusion, the situation requires your unique perspective and experience. So looking at the bigger picture. And if you believe, what you need right now is faith. You can have what you desire, but you must believe that it can be so. Stay positive and visualize the outcome you're hoping for. Set aside all negativity or pessimism in favor of a sunny outlook. The law of attraction brings to us what we expect to receive. If our perception that we deserve great things, then we will attract happiness. If we fall into doubt and don't believe in our own self-worth, then our experiences will match that energy. Believe in yourself and your chairs cherished dreams all right you guys i'm sending you lots of love lots of healing energy um i hope you're doing great and and if any of these messages resonated you already know what to do see you soon ciao